Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing Greenville, Wisconsin and going over the new vehicles that they just added into the game. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, leave a like and comment down below. It would mean so much to me. Alright, so let's check out this new Ford Bronco. I really like the design. It looks very realistic. It does have these huge wheels. I got the four-door model, but there is also a two-door model available. And there's really nice LED rear lights, and I like this Ford symbol they added onto the back. And of course, they have the spare tire mounted on the back. So this vehicle is actually really big and tall. So let's get inside and test it out. I'm going to show you the turn signals. Nice LED bar. The front is also a nice LED bar as well. This is with the headlights on. So let's take this for a road test to see how fast it will go. I'm going to go into sports mode. I actually really like the drivability of this vehicle. Leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on the new Ford Bronco? Do you like it in Greenville and in real life or would you not get one? Really nice brake lights on this as well. Let's see what the top speed of it is. And I notice with some SUVs it's kind of like wobbly when you're switching lanes. Kind of a slow acceleration. Let's see. Hopefully the top speed is at least 150. Oh, 134 is the top speed for this vehicle. It is priced very fairly. I believe it's only 44000 so it's a pretty good bang for your buck, and you do not even need any game passes to purchase it. So let's go pull over, and I'm going to do a quick walk around, and then we're going to go over another BMW that they just added into the game. So here's what the vehicle looks like with its hazards on, headlights are on. I really like the design of this vehicle. All right, let's check out the BMW 7 Series. It's a 2002 7 Series. And with both of these vehicles, I love the sounds that when you start the vehicle, it makes. It's like the real car actually makes. So let's pull over and look at the hazards on this car, as well as the headlights. I do like how they added the side markers for the BMW, because that is realistic to the real BMW. Very good attention to detail on the grille. Nice, clearly visible turn signals. And nice rear turn signals as well. This is actually like one of my favorite generations of the BMW 7 Series. I've always grown up seeing these on the road, and I always loved them. So I'm happy they added it into the game. They also added the sunroof and the little shark fin on the back. So let's see what the top speed of this is. This one also has a really good engine sound. Quick acceleration. Wow, I actually really like this vehicle. And it's only 13,000. This is a really good deal. So the top speed is 142 miles an hour. That is really good bang for your buck buying this vehicle. I really do love it. Let's see. This does have the nice 10 spoke wheels as well. Very nice. Super realistic looking. So let's head back to the dealership and I'm going to show you the rest of the vehicles that they added into the game. Leave a comment down below. Do you like the BMW or the Bronco better? I really like them both, so that's kind of a tough decision. So let's go back and see what vehicles they added. I know a lot of the vehicles they added were older models. I personally wish they would add like new models. Seriously? Alright, so let's head into the dealership and see what other vehicles they did add. Alright, so they have this 1988 Teeny. So you need the classic pass for that. Oh, they added um, another uh, EMS car. 
That is a Crown Victoria. Here is the 7 Series, only 13,000. They added this SUV, only 4,000. That is a pretty good deal. They added this uh, Chevy Tahoe. Oh, you could even get the SS model. That's pretty nice how they added that as well. So let's see what else they add. They added another Chevy truck. Let's see if you can change the features. You could get the work truck, or you could get the SS model. Very cool. And here is the Bronco. So this is the two-door one, 42,000. I personally like the four-door one, but that's just my opinion. They also added um, another Western Motor Cars. I heard these cars are a really good deal. And they go super fast for the price. Oh, you do need the electric pass for uh, one of them. The S one, you do not need any passes, so that's nice. Let's see, they added this old car. I've seen a couple of those before in real life. Here's another old car. Here's an old Mustang, pretty cool. Only 30,000, you need the classic pass. I never really see anyone with the classic pass, so... It's kind of cool. Oh, those were actually in the game before. So they added eight vehicles into the game. Leave a comment down below if you think I should review any more of the new vehicles they added. What did you like most about this update? Do you like any of these vehicles? Let me know down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.